What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have something. I have a package. I'm trying to try to get my Instagram up because I'm going to put this on my Instagram stories as well. Um, but I got a package. Back up there. I just got in the mail and they were just delivered. My aligners from Candid Co. So I asked over on my Instagram stories um, if anybody wanted to see a video on my first 24 hours with Candid Co. And the answer to that was yes. So I am going to um, open up this box and show you guys what's inside and then start my first 24 hours of aligners. All right, time to get this box open. So it came in just like a plain box with their little holographic tape. So let's go ahead and open her up. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. I will say, and I said this when I got my starter kit, but I didn't um, film like doing my starter kit, which is kind of nice because it was kind of gross. Lots of drool. Um, but I will say, whoever's in Candid's marketing department really knows what they're doing. Because all of their stuff is really aesthetically pleasing, which, I don't know about you guys, you know, don't judge a book by its cover and all that, but like, you do judge a company based on their logo and all their marketing material, and Candid really knows what they're doing. So it came in this box, and let me kind of tilt you guys down here. So we can open this box up. So it's like a magnetic, it's really similar, like I said, to the starter kit. Really nice, strong magnetic box. Ooh. So first step all the way, I have 12 steps and each little baggie of aligners has my name on them, which is nice. Um, it's like a quality controlled thing. So I know that these are mine. Here's the whitening foam, whitens teeth, freshens breath, cleans aligners. So there's a bottle of that. A, really? A carrying case. Okay, a little, ugh, can't get this out. A little like information Thing on Smile Train and Candid's partnership. Um, for every liner kit sold, Candid will make a $25 donation to Smile Train. So that's cool. Um, an aligner guide, so I'll go through that in a second. Chewies, aligner tray seeders. I think that whitener leaked. Okay, apply one half pump of whitener foam to tray, spread evenly, place them in mouth, spit out foam. So that's all about the whitener. Um, it says up to four times a day. So I would imagine like first thing in the morning, kind of maybe after breakfast, after lunch, another cheek stretcher. They said to keep the original cheek stretcher um, in case they need more pictures. The pull tool, oh, it shows you how to use it to remove your aligners using the little tool. Or for a friend, you'll get a $100 Amazon gift card. They'll get free $100 off their own aligners. Cool. Well, I will post my referral code for you guys if you want it. And then there is an app for Candid. So I will, I'll um, screen record or show you guys what that app looks like. Okay, aligner guide. So the Chewies, the Cheek Stretcher, aligner case, pull tool, and premium whitener. 22 hours each day for two weeks, switching prematurely can negatively affect your results, how to keep track. When putting on your liners, you can start with either the lower or the upper. Gently push them over your teeth with your index fingers for the bottom or your thumbs for the top. Should easily fit into place. Use your chewies to finish fitting any spots that don't fully feel set. Hmm. So um, I had um, braces when I was in high school. Um, and my retainer from when I got my braces off was like a standard like wire retainer. I didn't have the clear retainer. So I don't know a whole lot about 
these aligners. Okay, don't wash your aligners with hot water. Don't, it says aligners crack under pressure. Never sit on your aligners. Smash them with a hammer. Use them as a doorstop, okay? Don't soak your aligners in denture cleaner or mouthwash. Do wear them for at least 22 hours a day. Do brush and floss your teeth after you eat and drink and before putting them back in and rinse them with cool water. Clean them using cool water and a soft bristle toothbrush and reach out with any questions. Okay, well that, I mean, that seems straightforward enough. So, let's go upstairs. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then we'll put in the first set of aligners. All right, so I'm upstairs. I'm gonna brush my teeth, two minutes. So I ordered Candid because I wore braces in high school and then obviously did not stay on my retainer as long as I should have. So I have some overlap here and some misalignment at the bottom. So this is step one of 12. So my treatment should be about six months. So a little bag. I don't know if you guys can see that. Step one of 12. Okay, so it says half a pump. This is the top tray. Prime it there. I feel like this one's seated at the bottom. The bottom one doesn't feel like it fits. So, the top one feels good. I'm gonna use those chewies. See if I can get them seated. So let's go check it out. They're pretty tight. Which is to be expected. Finally got them, I think, seated correctly. Mm. It was definitely weird trying to adjust to something new in my mouth. 
So, I'm gonna check in in a couple of hours. I've got a class here in about 15 minutes. Um, and I've gotta talk a lot during that. So, I'll check in in about 15 minutes, I mean in about an hour after my class and see how I'm feeling, but I'm gonna kind of chronicle the first 24 hours with my Canada liners. Okay, so um, let me show you guys the app. So I've got the Candid app and it'll prompt me to log in. Okay, when did you start your treatment? Aligners arrived on, I don't know if it'll focus, January 23rd, so I'm just gonna confirm the start date. All right, enable notifications. All right, 14 days until your next aligner change. So it says I'm on step one. And that gives all the information. So I'll change to the next step on February 6th. Get more whitening foam and I can chat with a care specialist. And then they've got some common questions. Um, does the whitening foam hurt your gums? Uh, can I eat and drink? How do I put them on, take them off? When do I change? How to keep track? Will they irritate my mouth? So it looks like they pretty much got it all covered. So I'm gonna go teach this class and I'll check in after this class is over. All right guys, so I just finished up a class. It lasted, it's usually 45 minutes, but I cut it a little bit short. It lasted 30 minutes. It has nothing to do with the aligners, but I just did. Um, so after like 30 solid minutes of talking, I do notice that there's like a little bit of a gap between the aligner and my gum line. And I find my tongue catching on it a lot. Um, and then the plastic down here kind of rubs my lip when I talk a lot and also at the top. Um, they fit really snug in the front, like the front portion of the eyeliner. I do feel like there's a slight gap in the back but I might just be like ultra sensitive to it because that's where my tongue is. Talking's not super complicated. Um, obviously you're trying to like get used to something in your mouth so that's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but the rubbing is really the only issue. Not a whole lot of soreness in terms of my teeth yet, but I'm sure that that'll set in um, in the next hour or two um, and just kind of like ache a little bit over the next 24 hours. That's a lot of what I saw. So I'll check in with you guys probably like dinner time-ish uh, just to see how we're feeling and how, how everything feels with um, eating. But feels pretty good. I really can't complain so far. All right, so just a quick update. I just finished eating. I'm about to run to the bathroom and rinse these out, rinse my mouth out, put them back in because I gotta wear them 22 hours a day. That's a long time. 22 hours a day. So I'm gonna go rinse these out and put them back in. BRB. All right, so we went out to eat, um, and so I was I used my little carrying case. So you're supposed to brush after every time you wear them, but I don't have a toothbrush with me. I bought, I picked up a travel one at Walmart. Um, so I'm just gonna rinse them and rinse my mouth out real quick. Mm. Logistically, I gotta figure this out. They're significantly easier to get back in. Now that I've got them. Mm. I am starting to get like a little irritation from where the bottom of the aligner kind of rubs on my lip. But overall, pretty easy, not a whole lot of pain. Still, still feeling pretty good. All right, so we are home from eating, so I'm going to um, brush my teeth. 
and these aligners. Put in the whitening um, stuff. Well, I'm gonna take my medicine and then put in the whitening stuff and put them in to sleep. Um, so far, like I said a little bit ago, I'm starting to get like an irritation where the aligners, like the edge of the aligners is rubbing on the inside of my bottom lip and I know a lot of that's just from talking. Um, really no irritation on the top, just along the bottom. So I think that's just gonna take some getting used to. Good morning guys. Just wanted to quickly check in with my um, clear aligners. So woke up this morning, my mouth was pretty sore. Um, I took them out like 20 minutes before I got up. <clears throat> just kind of sat for a minute with them out of my mouth because my mouth was pretty sore. So I got up, brushed my teeth, um, and kind of got it together for the day and put them back in and they feel a little bit better now that I gave myself that rest. Um, but like I said, I'm still just pretty sore. My teeth are pretty sore, my jaw is pretty sore. Um, that spot that's rubbing that's kind of causing the irritation is about the same, it's not any worse. Um, and something that I was concerned about is when I wore regular retainers, like the regular wire retainer after I got my braces out, I would take them out in the middle of the night. If my mouth was hurting, I'd take them out in my sleep and not, not know. So I was worried I was gonna take these out and like the dog was gonna get to them or something, but that didn't happen. They're feeling pretty good. Um, so I'll check in for like a final check-in after we eat lunch, cause that'll be right at 24 hours, give you guys my final thoughts. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs and jump on for work. All right guys, this is my last check-in. So it is 1.48 and my aligners were delivered around 1.30 yesterday. So we just hit 24 hours. Um, my first 24 hours with Candid. Let me set this camera down. <laughs> See if I can't. Okay. So um, overall, my room's a mess, so please don't look. Um, overall, I'm pretty pleased with the first 24 hours. My mouth's not super sore. Um, my only major complaint, and I mentioned, I've mentioned this a couple of times, the bottom edge of the aligner, you can kind of see it right here, extends really far um, down on my gum line, which I know is totally normal, but there's a piece that like kind of was sticking out, and I think that's from like where it was in the mold, and I kind of popped it out or trimmed it or whatever, and it cuts, it's like rubbing this area. So you can kind of see where I'm getting like a little bit of a sore. Um, my tongue isn't bothered, the top doesn't bother me at all, it's literally just right there um, in the very front. So I watched a few other videos, read a few other reviews, and um, a lot of people suggested using like a nail file to smooth that area out. So I did that, I took a really like fine grit nail file and just kind of smoothed it out right there. But I think that the damage is probably already done and it's just really irritated, hopefully though, with that nail file excuse me, smoothing that spot out, it will give it an opportunity to heal, I think. Um, the lisp is really bad with like S's because your teeth aren't touching and your tongue's trying to figure it out. So any like SH sound, like shh, anything like that, like I have a student who has that sound in their name and using that, trying to use that, um, that sound, that SH sound is really awkward. The first like 10 to 15 minutes after I put them back in, I noticed the lisp is worse. Um, but overall, it's really not that bad. Also, I've been drinking a lot more water the past 24 hours because for some reason this, the aligners kind of dry your mouth out. I think it's just a matter of having something foreign. So I've used the whitener. I used it three times. I used it last night, or four times total. I used it when I first got the aligners. I used it last night before bed. I used it this morning. I and mean, then I used it just now. We had lunch probably about an hour and a half ago and I just brushed my teeth, rinsed my aligners and put the whitener in. So they recommend the whitener up to four times a day. I imagine I'll use it at least three times, um, first thing in the morning, right after lunch and right before bed. Um, so I'll try to squeeze in a fourth, fourth time. The whitener doesn't hurt my teeth. It doesn't taste bad. It's just a nice foam that goes into the aligners and keeps them clean. So overall, I'm really pleased with my first 24 hours. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you guys want me to do like monthly updates on this or if you want me to update after I change to my next aligner. Just kind of give me a heads up on what you're looking for um, down in the comment section below and anything else you guys want to see. I'm thinking about filming a Q&A soon, so 
If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll probably be asking for questions over on Instagram, so be checking out my Instagram. If you're not already following me, the information is down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.